understand the culture that's all you are uncultured i'm called As most americans are. i'm fine guys like guys girls like guys whatever I'm all about that but greco suave sounded like a dude loving guy and obviously these people are in favor of adam Rowe. that's fine we'll see who they favor by the end of this matchup these two both very athletic individuals i can't wait to see in this match, one on one. We both have about, a, about the same amount of time in the building, so this should be an interesting time. And neither one really outsizing the other. You know, perhaps Adam Reynolds a little bigger, but in terms of sheer muscular, Rico Suave has the advantage. So, a very even matchup, if ever there was one. This Grigo Suave guy is a very flamboyant one. It's, it's the culture. He is, he is uh, you know, he has, he has an air about him. I will say that he's a little bit more aggressive than Adam Reynolds is right now. Very much about the flaming cheese. And shit. Ease your stomach, Benjamin. You're not worried about 
speed we're worrying about action the action is taking place right now as these two size each other up again locked up there we go roll around they're feeling each other out here neither man really getting a solid advantage a clean break Rico Suave is saying that Reynolds is pulling the tights. No, this is another try that he spits. He might have been pulling the tights. Uh, his it was arms, hard to tell. His arms were up around the collarbone and elbow. That's collar and elbow tie. As they were rolling around, things could have shifted. Perhaps Rico Suave was mistaken. His tights got caught in the ropes. You know, it, he might have been mistaken. And, and sometimes these things happen. You know, perception. Very solid punches there, and the referee not doing anything about it. Well, he's letting these two, uh, you know, show what they have in this ring. Nice oh, reversal, nice. a vertical and a drop down. Big drop kick right to the face. Catch him square on that chin. That's an oompa. Opa. Okay. Well, Reynolds laying those shots in. He's going up to the middle rope. Rico Suave punched him first. I find that all fair. Hey, the ref, for the most part, nothing could happen, you know. No, I think 10 punches is a bit of overkill. Depends how quick you do them. Quantity, James. Quantity. Sometimes less is more, you're right. And Reynolds now firmly, firmly in control. And again with the chop straight across the chest of Greco Suave. Going corner to corner here, big whip in the corner. Followed by a huge slam. White square in the middle of the ring goes for the pin. What did he not do? He didn't hook the leg. Right. There are no timeouts in wrestling, Greco Suave. Per perhaps he's... Oh. What a kick right there, and using the ropes for leverage and snap. Either a Pele kick or an Enziguri there, couldn't tell which one. Perhaps a bit of both. And now driving that shin bend straight into the midsection. Stomping down on the shoulder and chest of all might. Definitely have to say, Greco Suave is in control here. No question about it. Again, driving that shin bone straight into all night. That was in the rib cage. Sticks. Crack a rib, and your opponent cannot breathe. If your opponent cannot breathe, he cannot keep it, his, his muscles oxygenated. If his muscles lock up from lack of oxygen, that's all she wrote. Talking about the amount of punches, that was like 90 million kicks in the corner. Come on now. Hey, kicks are fully legal. Showboat, showboating is not going to get him anywhere in this match. The object of a match is to beat the guy you are in there with, not showboat. That's true, and this could be detrimental to Greco Suave's offensive action. He should remain focused. That could cost him in the long run, but he does find his way back into the offensive, and he maintains control. And now he just punched him to the outside. He's going to play here and showboat more. Rico Suave is still chewing gum, Skits. You know how he's dangerous that is? He's got confidence. Just in case there's anyone in the crowd, no behind us. I see we do have some medics in the crowd. We should be all right. Now Rico Suave driving those forearms right to the back of Adam Reynolds' head. Where is my flaming cheese? Come on, Skits. Stop thinking with your stomach. We'll say those shots to the back of the head that Grigo Suave threw in there. Those are very old school Greek. So you got to figure he's got some kind of history growing up in Greece and learning from them as well as transitioning into the American style. The, the training, it shows immaculate in-ring action, and he is dominant at this point. What a showing from the debut Pico Suave. 
Oh, it sounds like it's coming alive here trying to get Adam Reynolds back on his feet. Well, and again, what are they chanting? USA, USA. Not anything to do with Adam Reynolds himself, just the fact that he was born here. And earlier we saw Adam Reynolds deliver a drop kick to the face, and GQ almost took that kid's head off right now. Rico Suave. That's what I said. Rico Suave, he is maintaining control here. But perhaps letting the fans get the better of him, a little distracted, paying attention to the outside of the ring as opposed to the inside. That boot right to the temple. You know, he has been laying a lot of damage. Him to the outside one more time. He's letting him take a breather, that's all. You know, he's been doing a lot of damage to the cranium of Adam Reynolds. Rigo Suave obviously does not care about pinning the man, he just wants the easy victory here. He's wearing him down. Wearing him down, he is doing nothing. He threw him to the outside so that he could get a count out victory. Adam Reynolds is having to expend the energy to get back in the ring. That is a wear down tactic. Well, there's a reason the kid's called all night, Adam Reynolds, and obviously he's back in the ring. Hey, his stamina is unquestionable. <laughs> Suplex right there. An, an interesting cover using the, the that legs. Was a cocky leg. cover, Skits. That was a cocky cover. Well, he was just using more of his body directly on the chest. Now, granted, he still left that leg available to uh, get the leverage to kick out. And now he pitches on the outside again. Now he's going to go outside. We got to give him a little credit that he didn't want to cheat. And now, some chops returning the ones from before. Oh, my. There's no reason for that, Skip. That was a slam on the hard concrete floor. That it was. And if there is one way to debilitate your opponent, that is it. That is an unforgiving landing surface, whatever there was one. Instead of continuing this match and throwing them back in and ending it right there, He's trying to humiliate his opponent by leaving him on the outside. Holy moly, oh, too soon. You say humiliation, I say acrobatic ability. That over the top rope leap. Now that is some showmanship right there. Yeah, that's athleticism. This Rico Suave has to be impressing you. To a point he is. However, his cockiness is what needs to go. He's earned it. Look at the look at the ability. He's very chiseled, very talented. Adam Reynolds finally cuts him off. Oh, big backdrop on the concrete. And what? He'll turn about his fair play. Absolutely, he'll see one and raise you one. The both men are down now. We have a count going by the referee. Can either of these men answer the count? Well, that is the question that remains to be seen. I, I can't tell from this perspective. If I, nope, there's, there's all that Adam Reynolds. It looks like he might he's still might be, not in the ring. But he's to his, he's to his feet. He's he is in the ring now. He breaks up the count. Can Rico Suave get in in time? I think him getting up is a mistake because he's going to end up going right down. Now Reynolds climbing top rope. It looks like he might have driven a kick right to the right to the face of On Rico that cannonball. Slavo. You're very right, Skits. I think that was like a shin and a boot and a kick to the face. Both of these two are putting it out. They are looking to impress here. See, now that's what I was talking about earlier. He throws them back into the ring. In order to beat your opponent, you have to move into it. Necessarily, there are numerous ways to beat your opponent. Sure, you can win by a count out. Wins and losses in the record book, they all count the same. Your point, you're right on that piece. Driving forearm. One, two. Just a two count. Not enough to put away Grico Suave. Reynolds is digging down deep here. He's trying to figure out how to beat this Grigo Swami. And it apparently is going to take a lot. Both of these young men 
just just passionate about what they're doing, flying their trade. Rico Suave. Oh! Nice super kick. That's got to be it. One, two. That is not unbelievable. Rico Suave is in the referee's face here. Well, very unhappy about not scoring the pinfall right there. That's yeah. great, but instead of worrying about that, he should have picked up his man, done more to him to try to beat him. He's doing it right now. Uh, I think a little bit too long, a little bit too cocky. Stalling suplex. Driving the knees straight to the gut. One, two. What is it going to take? Skids, I'm going to take back what I said earlier. Maybe he does showboat, maybe he is cocky. But he's also a very, very talented athlete. And absolutely vicious. Now Rico Suave going on to the top rope. What is he thinking? Cut off by All Night Adam Reynolds. Going to the top rope. Super flex off the top rope. Both men are down. That has to have taken the wind out of both men. You know, Reynolds, I, I would not be surprised if he's still having trouble getting a full breath after those driving knees right to the midsection. We got both men down here. In excruciating pain. Oh, Neither one of them is moving. What a maneuver on the part of Reynolds, but completely unable to capitalize. That could cost him big, Skits. If Rico Suave is able to, to recharge and get to his feet before Reynolds, this could be it. A headbutt. Hard shot. Driving fist. These men, there's a pier out brawl here, and he just shoved the referee. That's grounds for disqualification. That it is. That could very much be a mistake. Both men pushing the referee now. They want, they want this match. This is a brawl. This isn't even a match anymore. You're absolutely right. And referee Pee Wee Perella throws it out. These two men, this has gone from just athletic competition to blood feud in a matter of moments. And coming out on top, Rico Suave. I don't necessarily know that either man is on top of this shit. I'm looking right at him. He's on top of the The locker room clearing, telling the newcomer to back off. And he gracefully leaves the ring. Well, of course, it was about to be a four-on-one attack. He should have left the ring. I'd have left the ring. Well, and I just want to inform, ladies and gentlemen, that this match has been thrown out. Nobody wins. Well, if Rico Suave came to make a name for himself, he has done that tonight. Uh, we don't need a chair here. That's the great equalizer. Like I said, it's four on one. He is well within his rights to require a weapon to even those odds. But this situation is it looking not ugly. Four on one, Skits M. Jones. And it's four guys caring about another individual's life. Obviously, Adam Reynolds is very shaken up. Not barely even standing.